How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing good. Good. Love the content, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, that. it's awesome. Uh, the bench player or the chasing cardboard? Chasing cardboard is awesome. Oh, thank you. That stuff's awesome. Appreciate yeah, that. I mean, they're both good. I love <laughs> listening to you and Mike go at it, but. Mike's just, uh, he yeah. Is. <laughs> I get in his way. Yeah. What? But yeah, tell, tell your producer chasing cardboard is top notch. I will. Yeah, I get yeah. it. I get it. That takes forever to to get it going but as they come out but everyone would just like want one a day one a day one a day but yeah but yeah yeah it's like a movie though four dollars that's a sweet demo card yeah what do you have on it i got 75 on it yeah, right. I've never seen a score like that with the actual NFL uniform for a rookie. Yeah, right. It, it's one. probably because it's auto. They're like, we'll up our standards. Make it look a little bit <laughs> 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 decent. Yeah. I'll think about that one. For sure. And I got an RPA in here too to 25. Okay. Will you take 180 at all for that? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and take a look at it first. There it is. There is service for The cruise right there. Yeah, I figured it somewhere. Gotta start somewhere with going through all the years of him, so I'll get started on that. That's the first one I've come by. And then what these are five I think each pink. So one ninety. Yeah, Thank you. Have a good one. Two. Okay. All right. Hey, it's a 
my teams do a little bit more, Jordan? Uh, the Niners and then San Francisco Giants. The Niners fan? Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, you guys from the area or down there? Uh, well, we're from Kalispell, okay. Montana, but we're Niners and Giants. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hence, <laughs> hence, 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 yeah. I have a I bunch of Debo's. I'm, I'm trying. They're in this box. I'm trying to pull okay. them out. I might be interested. Yeah. We had uh, season tickets for both to at the stick for like 20 years. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I just got up here like two years ago. So. I was at Willie McCovey's last game, and they brought him back. Nice. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Crazy. I remember <laughs> Felt Chip, they broke the press box had real glass and it's like shattered. Yeah. Glass down. <laughs> Candlestick was. Oh, it was horrible. It, was the, it looked it was like the, a prison, kind of when you're approaching. It yeah. And like, and when you're a kid, you don't really notice things like yeah. that, and then you get older, and you're like, oh man, uh, this yeah. is. Yeah. Oh yeah, Trey Lance. Well, yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll work if, on getting yeah, some yeah. If you pop the Debo's stuff. out, I'll, yeah. I'll come back awesome. around and I'm gonna get take a look. Just circle back. If you can. Sounds good. Got some maze and stuff. And okay, I'll be interested in that as well. I don't know, the Browns lost the crap title on that trade. I'm not a big fan of Deshaun Watson, so... I don't know what he's doing. I have a secret. Yeah, I wish of course this part of Everybody does. How are you doing, man? Good, how's it going? Alright, hey, thanks for stopping by. Five hours ago it was. It's nice to get away from a little bit. Yeah. Enjoy the car shows. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? That's yeah. cool. Wow. I don't know people by race. I know it's Still has got a simple stuff. Uh, let's go. Ten bucks. Yeah, that works. Sound good for you. Yeah. There you go. Appreciate Thank it. You. Appreciate hey, it. Thank you. Yep. Back for it, maybe. <laughs> Take a closer look. It's a little off. Yeah, it's unique. All right, that sold me. Forty-nine. Numbered out of. Will you do sixty-five for it? 70. That's that's fine. That's fair. Cash or car? Cash. Okay. How about this escrow? Twenty bucks. You do me those two and thirty bucks. Sixty. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. They gotta come back for the RPA later. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too fond of that one. It's kind black. of it's a funky one. The black, like, yeah. it definitely has, I guess, uh, someone's appeal. Yeah. And the white ink's interesting too. I don't see that a lot. Yeah, the eye black, I think it's called or whatever. Right back? No. What's that? Oh. Sure, is that cool? Yeah, it's free, man. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. I bet that 90 stuff doesn't have the value of the new stuff. <laughs> Yeah, the new stuff's gonna have the value of that stuff eventually. Right. Another 20 years from now, the way it's printing, it'll get there. Do you have any wiggle room on the jerry? What yeah, kind of wiggle room are you thinking? Well, I just ran comps and they're around between, I mean, that's 
that's the high of it. They're between 160 and two for that. And I was 175. Would you do 215 then if throwing these? Yeah. I'm easy. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. You can pick your. Pick the poison of the eight. Yeah. I'll let you pick which one you want. They're all eights. All right. <laughs> Does the number look better? <laughs> right? Some people are pretty... Definitely not that. Literally, I just got these in the mail last week. Did you? Yeah. I think I'm going to go with this one just because it's ending in 80. <laughs> That, never thought that's about right. that. That's good. <laughs> hey, yeah. There's 80 in there twice. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Two, all right, 215. Two. <laughs> Perfect. Appreciate it. You bet. That's why we're here to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I think I might. Yeah. I think you have 30, you said a 35, you can take 30 for that? Yeah. All right. Thanks. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Is this guy any good? I haven't heard a whole lot about him. No, I don't know. I mean, it's it's pretty much this guy right now trying to yep. take Crawford's spot, but I don't know. I just collect giants and color matching, so I don't know too much about it. I, I don't put high value on it. No, it's a last sold for 850, 950. Yeah. Let's see, last sold 40, last sold eight bucks. I do 40 for the both of them if you're interested. Or? Yeah, that's fine. That'll work. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you. These were out of the fives, and okay. this was out of the ten. Okay. I think it was. Uh, let's see if I can get rid of some of these ones. Fifteen spots. Fifteen is cool. Yep. We'll work for you. Yep. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for you. the deal. Oh, that's fine. Oh, it's <laughs> my little bookmark. I'm like, where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. So you're saying you were looking for 25 on yeah. that? Yeah. I don't know what else you would have on these other two. Yeah. Uh, can I get two more dangerous, please? Trying to see how much cash I have. Yeah. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I have 51. I'll give you <laughs> 51 if you want. Okay, just got back from the car show here locally in my hometown of Coeur d'Alene presented by Bench Clear Media. Lots of PC items were picked up here on the mat. There was this one stack I don't think filmed. I'm not quite sure what all necessarily got filmed on the good old GoPro, but lots of football talk. There was a lot more baseball, excuse me, basketball and less baseball 
at this compared to the Spokane Valley card show, which I think I hit maybe like a couple months ago. Kind of stuck to vintage, dabbing still into vintage and then just very like PC items. Like I said, this stack was mainly, I believe, $5.00. I want to say they were all five and then these last two were in a ten dollar box so i'm gonna go through this real quick since i don't think this was filmed and i apologize in advance or obviously after the fact that the camera was cutting out like always kicking this off i think a 2014 prism calvin johnson hall of famer just a yellow red nothing big but i like my receivers as we know kellen mond seems to be getting a lot of attention this isn't a big huge card probably less than five dollars maybe possibly more once the season starts and there's a texas a&m following a game worn andrew jones basically kind of a outsider for the hall of fame obviously game whoops numbered out of 500 i figured i'd pick that up i'm not quite sure the value on all any of these most of them are probably around five dollars they added up to $60 this whole stack, and he gave me them for 60, which was not a bad deal. A lot of this is gonna be sold to see if there's value and um, basically recoup some of my money back. A Victor Martinez, basically kind of gouty reprint, almost in a sense, out of Upper Deck 2007. Audit, on card auto though. Some PC Victor Martinez one may want that in their cart. Their, their PC, their card collection. Timmy, obviously fan favorite for my Giants. This is going straight to the PC. Speaking of P PCs, speaking of trying to speak English, this is numbered out of 50. It's not a bad deal there. I figured a rookie card numbered Timmy. Basically kind of like a portrait, upper deck, obviously. Masterpieces, so that'll head off to the PC. I guess I'll just keep these in the same pile. Taylor Ward, auto. Nothing special there, but it looked decently centered. So I might, some of these cards I was just kind of reviewing randomly and figured they might head off to PSA or SGC. Another Victor Martinez auto. And I guess, I, I don't know what that really is. It's out of 500. I guess that's just some kind of, just says authentic cut signature. I wasn't trying to figure out what that could possibly be if it could be like a metal bat or anything but there's no metal bats in basically major league baseball so some kind of mirror thing that he signed this is probably going to head out to maybe some hobby collector out of 60 on card auto Javi lopez was a big catcher for the atlanta braves this is obviously his later years with the orioles but um, maybe some collector would enjoy that barry zito on card auto who pitched for the giants and of course had his great years with the a's and it is i guess authenticated with a sticker back there kind of a t206 replica i'm not quite sure too much about what year is this 2002 so this is actually ooh, this he's were doing very well i believe during then can't remember exactly but some A's fans, Athletics fans, are probably yelling at me right there. But anyways, there's a decent following for Barry Zito. And Hanley Ramirez was kind of a star when he came out into through the league for the Florida Marlins. Basically, now the Miami Marlins. But on-card auto of him. It's probably going to hit the PC whenever I see a Bonds card. I have a big, pretty decent Bonds collection. And I see a card that kind of catches my eye. Kind of the old school uni. Actually enjoy seeing that after years at the candlesticks. So that was a PC item. Another Taylor Ward on card auto, numbered out of 250. So rookie card. These were the $10 cards. I don't think they necessarily warranted $10, but a Lenny Dykstra. He had a big career with the Phillies out of 599. MLB artifacts from upper deck. This is 2005, and a authentic game used Hall of Famer, Mike Schmidt, from, what is this, Fleer? That was that stack. Like I said, I don't think that was filmed. I think the first pickup 
of day might have been this. Actually, I'm trying to, I'm going to just go down the line. I don't remember the order necessarily. I haven't revealed the film. I feel like I kind of maybe got burned on these hot, these 70s. I think this is a 70, 72s here or something. I think, yeah. Yeah, those, those cards aren't too high. This card a little bit. It's got some issue right here. Some water damage or something. I totally missed that. Then I did get a card that I've been looking to hit. The PC, an eight of Jerry Rice. He had it at 200. I said they're selling around 160 to two. He yelled 175. And I accepted and counted with 215 for the rest of these basically. Figured this would be 200 and one of these would be free. Even though I think these are on the higher end of these 72 cards so like i said i haven't looked these up i don't know if i did say that but i haven't looked all these up i went back to this guy's there was quite a few vintage tables went back to this guy's table quite a few times i already have this card i think in an sgc4 and i might send this out just to a lot of this card these willie mays i'm starting a willie mays sgc collection so Hence why there was a whole bunch of Willie Mays over here. And maybe possibly you'll see <laughs> elsewhere. But yeah, I have this. This obviously is not centered very well, but I figured, I can't remember what, I think it was, I paid 30 for this. This might have been like 20 or 20 and 15 or something. A lot of these 72 cards that seem to be a little high, but anyways, 30 for both of those two, I think or he had them at 35 and I offered 30. This I got at 180, a SGC graded two, 1954 Bowman Willie Mays. It's not a very desirable card just because of that crease right there in there, but basically getting a, what, third year Bowman Willie Mays, Hall of Famer, obviously. I don't know if I'm gonna start a Bowman set of his or just go the tops route. I might just flip this. I looked at comps. I don't know, obviously I'll put in the description and title if I can, crease center card. But I was checking comps and these are well over $200 right now in an SGC2. I think they're around three, 350 plus. Or, or at least what well, at least 200 I would say 250 minimum and then up to 300 350 and then there's these just rookie cards of Tatis forgot to mention holiday edition holiday is a little bit more rare that's why I just grabbed him um, obviously we're all waiting to see what happens with T Tatis I think he's coming back maybe before the all-star break we'll see on that obviously more PC yeah unfortunately there's a lot of PC for this so if you're not a Giants or Niners fan, a lot of these pickups may not be of interest. This is a little off to the right, but I'll probably send it to PSA. As you can see, that gold border is a little bit thinner than the right one on there. But an on-card, or not on-card, I keep on wanting to say on-card, a sticker auto rookie card of Debo and the key kicker here it is numbered out of 49 I don't know if the video captured this pickup or not but 49 for 49ers sure it was a nice looking card you get a Debo auto for 70 bucks I think I snagged that for he offered or wanted 75 and I offered 65 and we just easily met in the middle he was handing these out we're gonna open this obviously as he saw me kind of prime in it little father's day panini packs this is just panini brand i haven't opened any of these or necessarily seen any of them open so we have a garrett wilson i think they're like what probably going to be multi just two cards in here <laughs> multi sport so fernando tatis and a rookie of garrett wilson that's what came out of that pack very nice just to kind of hand out packs on any sale at that table just picked up these three items obviously anything green i love the color green as far as parallels when it comes to cards as you can see on these two 
We're still trying to figure out whether Patrick Bailey might be the answer for Joey Bart down the line here. I've watched him play here at the local single A when they come into town in Spokane. Anyways, those two. And then a game-used Jordan Alvarez. He might be, I don't know if the, the video captured it, but talking about how he's possibly the next big poppy, David Ortiz, DH-like player. So Ortiz got in the hall as a DH, so we'll see how Jordan Alvarez does. A couple straight centered, I think, Debo's I grabbed. They wanted 20, I send out, settled on that. I think I was maybe looking to grab them both for 15, or 15 for both. We'll also try to speak. Not sure on the scratches on here. We'll have to pull it out. Hopefully, that is a giant scratch up and down north and south. Let me see if I can out of here. Okay. Okay, that's on the sleeve, thankfully. I was like, that is a very large scratch. You probably can't see it on the camera. That was those two. They were Niners and Giants fans. I'm not quite sure why. I, I mean, I do know why I picked this up. It's just color matching orange. There's nothing special about Diego Velasquez. <laughs> um, currently, at the moment, there's another prospect, Mar Mauricio Dubon. Or Marcio. Mauricio... Marco Luciano, Mauricio Dubon actually just got traded to the, maybe a month ago to the Astros. I'm all over the place, but anyways, the first Bowman, basically color matching, just grabbed it for the PC to sit. Maybe when he gets called up, I'll sell it, depending on, but sometimes I'll just pick up random cards like that. And a Michael Pittman, just kind of well-centered auto. It is a... Guess what are these bronze? I think is maybe the color on this, but it seems to be well centered. Now that I'm looking at it, there's a smidgen of a white tip up there, but nonetheless, also possibly down there. Try to review cards relatively quick when you're at a show, so you definitely overlook a lot of things. I think that's my mistake. I thought it looked pretty centered on this Jimmy Graham rookie Topps Chrome refractor. So I might be sending that in. Eric Decker, sticker auto, unfortunately, but two color patch there. There's got to be some Eric Decker PCs. I think his wife has some show that my wife and I'm sure many of your other wives <laughs> maybe watch. I don't even know her name. But he, she obviously has asked, you know, Eric Decker of Eric Decker and many of us football collectors probably have. Interesting auto. Very like, just kind of the E, the scribble, big D and <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Andrew Jones, like I talked about earlier, it it's a little rough of a card, but it's an on-card auto. I just kind of thought it was a unique card. 2007 upper deck, but on card nonetheless. Andrew Jones, possible collector for that. I don't know if the value is the same of that, but figured it was a decent looking card. So then we got some more Willie Mays and McCovey, just specifically this Mays. A little bit more better centered than the other 70. Did I get three of these? There's one. Can't remember. Yeah, I did get three. So. I'm not quite sure which is going to be the best. Could maybe just, it's always fun to just send cards in for grading and <laughs> see the go. This guy, I think, is the best centered out of all of them, although he is pretty low down there. So they're all having, maybe overall, this might be the best centered. As far as north, up, up, down, left, right, north, south, east, west. Pick that up along with these other two. Probably on the high end. Older gentleman said 50 for all three. This McCovey actually is pretty well centered along with this. What is this? The 70 as well. So enjoyed it. Obviously a lot of Giants. 
cards. So thank you for watching. If you've made it this far on the pickups, apologize for obviously a plethora of San Francisco Giants and Niners. Majority of the cards here were that. I felt like you could just kind of get some cheaper value. Although I don't believe I scored necessarily besides maybe hitting that SGC2 Willie Mays card. Um, but nonetheless, it was fun to have a local card show, get out and be in the community and talk to some people of like-minded folks. Again, thanks for watching as always. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will catch you in the next one. Take care.